Good morning and Shavua Tov. Today is Jewish Mother's Day because today is the 11th day of Cheshvan, which is the yard site, the anniversary day of the passing of our mother Rachel, Rachel Imenu, who died over 3,500 years ago and is buried in the tomb of Rachel. And today in Israel, literally hundreds of thousands of Jews flock to the tomb of Rachel to pray at the grave of Mama Rachel. And I'll tell you the truth, when I go to Israel, as many go to Israel, they always go to the Kotel to pray. But when we go to Israel, as we just went with the synagogue a few months ago, we always go to the tomb of Rachel. And personally, I feel more connected at the tomb of Rachel spiritually, even than at the Kotel. And I thought about it, and I think the reason is because, of course, the Kotel is the holiest place in Judaism. But it's hard to connect with a temple that stood over 2,000 years ago and really understand the loss. But when I go to the tomb of Rachel, I think of my mother. And when I think about the love of a mother, I understand the love of Rachel. And I understand what it means to be a mother and the love and the prayers that a mother offers for her children. And I feel more emotionally uplifted at the tomb of Rachel. Indeed, Rachel is the ultimate mother. What is it about Rachel that surpasses even Sarah, Rebecca, and Leah, the other three matriarchs? And the answer goes back to the story of Jacob on his deathbed, who tells Joseph to bury him in the land of Israel. And says to his son, you may be wondering why I did not bury your mother, because Rachel was the mother of Joseph and Benjamin why I didn't bury her in the cave of Machpelah, why I buried her in the side of the road in Bet Lechem. And the reason is, and our rabbis explain this, because when the Jews will be exiled by the Babylonians and they'll be taken away in chains, they will pass by the tomb of Rachel and they will pray at the tomb of Rachel and Rachel will weep in heaven and intercede on behalf of her children. And indeed, on the second day of Rosh Hashanah, we read the Haftorah from the prophet Jeremiah, where Jeremiah discusses how when the Jews were going into exile, Rachel mevakal b'nei, Rachel weeps for her children, she refuses to be consoled until God comforts her and says, your children will return to the land of Israel. How is Rachel able to persuade God to forgive the Jewish people for the sin of idolatry and betrayal? Our rabbis say, because Rachel said to God, look what happened to me. I was destined to marry Jacob, the love of my life. And then my father decided to send my sister Leah to the chuppah. And I remained silent because I didn't want to humiliate my sister. And I allowed my sister to marry the love of my life, just not to hurt her out of compassion. God, if I was able to give up my husband out of love for my sister, can't you forgive the betrayal of the Jewish people and allow them to come back to the land of Israel? And it was Rachel's words which compelled God to bring the Jewish people back to the land of Israel. Everyone knows the love of a mother because everyone has a mother. Your mother is the only person who knew you and loved you even before you were born. And that's what today means to the Jewish people. Today's Jewish Mother's Day because we pay tribute to the ultimate mother as well as to our mothers and remember their undying love, which continues even after they leave this world and they go to the next world. There's a story told about this woman whose son was having a bar mitzvah, but she was terminally ill and she was dying of cancer and no one knew if she would live to see her son's bar mitzvah and she prayed, let me just live to see my son's bar mitzvah. Well, as it got closer to the bar mitzvah, it became clearer as she was fading quickly that she would not live to see her son's bar mitzvah. And so one day she was in the bedroom with her husband and she called her son into the room and said, my dear beloved son, it doesn't look like I'm going to make it to your bar mitzvah. But I would like to at least see what you're going to look like, how handsome, how beautiful you're going to look on the day of your bar mitzvah. Could you please go into your room and take out the suit, the tie, the shirt, the cuff, your new hat and everything that we bought you, your new shoes, and put it all on and come into the room so I could see, I could have a vision of what you will look like on your bar mitzvah. It wasn't a dry eye in the room when the boy came back all dressed for his bar mitzvah. 
And his mother hugged him and kissed him and said, you look so beautiful, you look so handsome, you're such a fine young man. And everyone was crying, knowing that she would never live to see his bar mitzvah. After the boy left the room, the husband turned to his wife and said, you know, that was very, very painful. And I wonder if that was too much for him, too traumatic to have to put on all of his bar mitzvah clothing and being told that you will not live to see his bar mitzvah. And the mother looked at her husband and said, do you think I did that for myself? I did that for him. Because in Jewish law, when you are a mourner, for the first year of mourning, you cannot wear any new clothing. I knew that if I die, he would not be able to wear his new suit and his new shoes and his new tie to his own bar mitzvah because you're not allowed to wear new clothing during the year of mourning. So I wanted him to wear it now so that at his bar mitzvah, he would be allowed to wear it because he had already worn it once. Only a mother could think such selfless, such compassionate, such loving thoughts to not even think about herself and her situation, just think about what's best for her children. Today on the day of the 11th of Cheshvan, Mother Rachel prays for her children in heaven and we should ask her to beseech on behalf of all of us. But we as children must give her nachas. And what she asks us to do is exactly what she did. Show unconditional love, selflessness, sacrifice for one another. And in the merit of that, she will bestow all of the heavenly blessings from God upon each and every one of us. Happy Jewish Mother's Day.